Good evening. I've thought of a new analogy with which to explain the problems of iOS. While writing down notes for what became this video, I was like, wait a second. I'll just use a screen recorder and just kind of like pictograph my way through it. Right now, I am not an artist. <laughs> the drawing skills are... But I feel the message would be easier to deliver and would be more likely to land if I portrayed it in a graphical way. So here we go. Picture iOS like a big city. Lots of buildings and the houses are connected to the grocery store with one road. You go there and back one way. The houses are also connected to the post office. One way there, one way back. If for some reason you want to go from the grocery store to the post office, Bummer. you rarely have any problems at the grocery store as long as you're a good little customer and go there, pick your groceries, then go and check out, and then go home, you'll almost never have an issue. But you have to go on the same road, get the same cart, and pick your food by going through the same order of aisles every time. More monotony, less possibility for problems. Each destination is surrounded by walls, one way in, one way out. No one who shouldn't be there gets in, but you have no choice but to come and go through the provided ways. There is no road connecting the grocery store to the post office. You have to break through the walls. Want to go from the grocery store to the post office so you can mail some ground cumin to a friend without having to go to the local shipping store by going back home through the proprietary roads, then going there? You can't, unless you break that wall and take a dirt trail to the post office. Along that dirt trail, you could run into holes that make you drop your cargo, not get to your destination, Bummer. or even get attacked by a wild animal. And don't bother calling for help either. According to the city, you shouldn't have been on that dirt road in the first place. It's not official. It's not supported. Sound like a city you'd like to get out of? You're more than able to leave. But first, there are some fees you have to pay. Oh, and there's a stack of paperwork to fill out. Oh, and etc, etc. You can leave, sure. But it's not easy. By design. But there's an alternative. Enter the Android City. In Android City, you have the same buildings, you have the same houses, you have the same grocery store and post office even. There are roads that go from the houses to the post office, the post office to the grocery store, the grocery store to the houses, from the houses to the big buildings, from the grocery store to the big buildings, from the post office to the big buildings. You can go from the houses to the grocery store or the houses to the post office but you can also go from the post office to the big buildings, and then from the big buildings to the houses, and then to the grocery store, then from the grocery store back to the big buildings, then from the big buildings back to the post office, then from the post office directly to the grocery store, or from the post office right back to the houses. There's so much freedom. Sometimes in the Android city, you need to move a building in order to get through how you prefer, but luckily the building's movable, so you simply move it aside and make your trail through it. Then, once you're done with that trail and don't need it anymore, it can be trashed and the building can be put right back where it was. No harm done. Now occasionally, given the building's movable nature, they can crack or fault, but these problems are easily patched up, hardly ever causing more than a few seconds of inconvenience in the rare event that it even happens. In the Android City, the roads are structured in such a way that you can be on one and then have several options on which turn to take next. And there are always multiple ways to get from one place to the next, whichever way suits your needs or is most convenient at the time. In the end result, you still end up getting done what you needed to get done. I hope that provided a fresh and easy to digest way to explain the differences and disadvantages of iOS. There are going to be more videos coming out that directly compare an iOS system app with a Samsung system app of the same type. It's going to be cool. And spoiler alert, Samsungs are better. But anyway, Scotty time. These fantastical people paying $10 or more per month on Patreon are Unit Omega, Anthony Jackson, Christopher Caswell, Sim O, Eric Price, Josh Utley, Kyler, Nick Hawks, Spidget, Stephen Nichols, and Stuart Glover. Here you go. I
Let's stay with my Scotties. My Scotties are my boys. I ride with them. And I put that on the generation. We also have the Beamers, the ones that pay $1 to $2 a month, and those are David Larson, Excelsior, Encrypted Bunny, and we have a new one! His name is Nicholas Clark. Keep attempting to drawing and stay beaming.